Hello, welcome right, back to another episode of Formula 1 23, episode 48. And it's time for another long, long plane. Uh, but first, before we go into this long plane, it's got to start a bite. So hopefully, we will be able to put all the updates we need. We've got 8.3 million. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. And if you've not seen the last, like, which was on the earlier long plane, I would recommend to back and watch this. This is what chaotic with multiple two that flat um and retard you no know, bunch up but only one survive which is quite um chaotic really so yeah go back and watch this one if not seen that one before you'd watch that and um also i hope everyone to be well today and please like to subscribe to another tale to bear on with that touch on so we've got sponsorship the new one we did at least the new one to know um always we knew it's that to respond for a year, so it's like a potential of a one year deal basically. So we got Summer Boy coming up, we got 8.3 million, so I'm gonna go and buy a spec layup, right? That's what we need the most. So I'm gonna get that, that gonna come in on the day of a Summer Boy, so hopefully we get all the up there. So I'm gonna do it quickly and I will come back to you when I've done it. So is it done? This is a funny team event, which is definitely helped them all. Well. Only the lot I care about right now is Aerial. Uh, sponsored of a time and receiving money, not much, but with a train, the acting train, obviously helps build Porsche. I know also I was thinking about the players of Porsche next season, so I'm gonna show you who I think is a good um, driver. I can put you on the team to obviously I need state money up another thing. Plus, and also want to show you what T um live on one who I'd like to join the comment and tell me who you think is most suited for the team. So the first team, the first first live I want to obviously I need to do well in terms of the championship and obviously get loads of money from it. But I would want Alexander Albon. He got twelve million so it's a lot of money, but I might get nothing with him. And another one would be uh, I would go for Liam Lawton, that's another one, and uh, potentially. I'd sit those two and deal Porsche if you want him to stay, we always keep him. And one, I wouldn't work with him like Liam Lawton, I know he's never stick overlord, so it's a bit different way it is. Um, but Albon is the big one who I really want on the team. Waiter Joe is another driver, so I get. Those live are uh, Jack Duhart and not gonna be on the team, um, not be watching him. So these four you're still on there right now are the candidate. One of them to pretend to be staying, leave them pretend to be replacing. So we don't wait to see what's gonna happen. Oh, yep, yeah, I had to wait for Ariel to come in. So find your team perfect. Uh, we didn't get that liberty, we got the liberty, which is good. Okay, we'll and the top is one point fifteen. Okay, I find it at two point seven five is thick thousand um uh, these sort of points, uh, so we can actually potentially get quite a lot of, uh, maybe two, if that possible. Uh, at one pedal part, is planning a new CD, what that Netflix thing then, so I step to the point, we don't know that I claim, we don't, we don't, these sort of points. Oh, I think this sort of point is a bit wanted, I'm hoping that and Asian Chosen are coming. Um, so I think I'm going to be sorted well. point, I'm sorry, I'm going to be sorted point, that's more important for me now. Yep, I'm trying to come to you, and then Elio spec to play though that. Oh, it's not enough. Are you telling me I can't really play? Oh, crap. Yeah, we can't really think. We can't really think, we don't know what to play, um, so... Looks like I'm going to have to do another one again. Um, I don't want to do power train because I need to do that. The upload to do it. Um, Chats is definitely not. Wait though, if I buy a special way in that special so let's say if I don't buy that one, which makes me two, so I think that's, I think that's what you call a spec two or something. In fact, that I buy spec three, which is one, two, three. So the first one, with that deadly spec three, well, that must have been work. So I should not be not commenting that actually how it work. We do two meals, we do like stave it up, unfortunately. So I'll start on my break. We've got the late coming up. 
we've had with it then unfortunately so um we will do that one and uh, we do that one and um yep no I played yet for other uh, team but I'm just here so I'm absolutely just here that I can't win it in uh, well now I'm still at to actually buy uh, more to have to, to, have to make it to the next season it might end up to the point where I might have to get another driver but cheap to replace the old to be able to get some money to put it into uh, all the upgrades of the facility so it's the post this mill so if I do more in my shit and resource this point um we need this sorted and combine those to about four million right and then that do do I have to do two race of end potentially two race of end in order to get another upgrade for the area which get me up to spec proper specially and um do that with uh, another shakti I think we like have to forget about the teammate situation probably like to get a really bad teammate in order to be able to do it I think oh, that's, that's annoying isn't it so um, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, race weekend uh, practice section and I'll see you in qualifying I have to fill my uh, practice section so we now uh, double head and over to qualifying uh, and uh, obviously it's still the RD 8,900 attempts which is um, Quite enough to be able to buy and load it up the that I need it and plus the better it change if we don't want it will be good enough for me because I can almost get all the updates that I need it so obviously the editing is still the same and performance is hard so we um, you now have you know, had this straight over to the qualifying for uh, Dumbledore, Netherlands, one point, Mathis, that point, home way so I'm going to see if um, it might win it all, or it'll be someone else here, and plus, it's also gonna be quite steady, which is a good thing for us. So, to the double check, I think it's good, um, definitely wanna well, use that. Um, so I can go out and do a drink run, uh, on stop, good. Um, so, yeah, pretty much nothing else to do apart from doing now and get everything checked out. Let's check. Ah, oh, wait. Right. Forgot to do this. Uh, tap on. How did I forget to do all of them? Well, I'd completely forgotten to do all of this. I don't know how I buy it never works. Man, that's so page tight. Right, so, um, I'm going to really move for one that is, uh, don't think it does have that much impact on timing that that one definitely can do to this already four minutes five minutes now uh control and toilet stay the same turbo child it definitely needed to do that uh after another minute so we have four minutes left over i stay this uh but we definitely have no chance okay we don't know chance um yeah well, unfortunately, um, it's going to be quite um, no one for me to that completely forgot to do the um, a, um, a toilet a bonus tidy. I thought I've done it already um, when I was obviously went to practice one and then I jumped into practice the system what the different and then obviously you have to you know, speed up rather than speeding up. I put all the components in, that's what I thought I'd done, but turned out I didn't even do it. Um, so we're gonna be rolling with this. Might as well to put all the new stuff in case we're not gonna have it um anything we need. So we're gonna be going into the long play right now basically. So yep. Unfortunately we don't get any run which is which is I don't understand how I forgot to do it. So I guess I'm gonna see you um uh, over as it long play. For years, the passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside in races across Europe. Here this weekend, it's even easier to find the Dutch fans as they have a race to call their own once again. A warm welcome to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe, of course, as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. Four lefts and ten rights make up the 14 corners of the narrow and demanding Zandvoort circuit, with plenty of peaks and valleys over the course of the 2.6-mile lap, which will demand absolute concentration from our drivers here today. 
It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Norris, Sainz, Holkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Sonoda, Gasly, Albon, Theo Porcher, Joe, Verstappen, Liam Lawson, Stroll, Magnussen, De Vries, Ocon, Hughes, Sargent, Bottas, and the owner driver rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. And with me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. Let's have a chat about Williams. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. As you see right now, we're getting ready to clutch on to Davidor at one point in Netherlands. And we are obviously listening to Slack and Team to come up with um, a Slack and Team Spectre on the uh, Davidor. And obviously, as we know, in the past, well, pretty much this season, hard tyre has been quite nice to me. So obviously, I'm starting on stop. So I can try and, you know, uh, into these, well, uh, take over a couple places ahead of me to be able to uh, to basically solidify that and then join a hard top and repeat the okay, same so thing and try to go a bit higher but obviously sure as it's the MP22 okay at the, the moment um, it due to uh, the penalty I have for um, to have forgotten to uh, take all of my uh, component uh, before the qualifying uh, so I completely forgot uh, to do it when I go in so it, it's not it's a lesson to be learned. I had to try to take my time. I remember doing everything, but it's fine to now line it up to the lead in Davil Door. And I'm hoping to put in a really good effort where I you know if I don't finish in point, I will happy to finish that like in top 14, 13. It is it's no eight there and it's five way line. And it, away we go with George Russell and Charlotte Little on one two. And we've got Steel to pack there, taking a move on to George, and George has to fall down the place here. And Magnuson has to block off the place where I want to go into. And George Russell has to drop the P5, being locked. Four position, well, three or four position, this is quite a shot for him. And we've got a little bumpy car going on with the span old ton as he's trying to dive into where he wants to be. And I was like, ah, I'm not like that, that was immediately mate. And I obviously overtook Tavi Mackerson as well, because I'm happy about the overtake. We've got Matt Verstappen on way to Joe, and Joe did that to really well on Matt Verstappen. And obviously, Matt Verstappen, uh, you know, he's not exactly be the best driver like Charles and George Russell has been in the pack. Top on the they are trying to fight him for top spot, which is quite um, a bit chilly. What, what, what board is basically okay, doing is that thing that what board has been doing. So we are now up to P13, which is good. The two position to be in, honestly. And I know if I could uh, save the tyre, both a real good and really start making pace moving, I'll be happy. And I know my tyre would drop it longer, which is good me at Max Verstappen, obviously. Um, Attacking those now, and those actually still making a real to real action between them two. And who did they take P10? It looks like Doe still maintain the P10 at the door and the hairpin, and it looks like Doe definitely keeping it. And we are obviously getting closer to small. I need to overtake small quickly and clean to be able to get up the field portion of them sliding from the left to the right, try to find the spot open. I couldn't find it, it's a bit risky to do it, so I thought I'm going to take my time with it and just wait for a, like, a launch like, or snow make mistake and make it you know, either for me to swoop in and I don't tap it wise but you know, I still like, slingshot my, myself on wild that bit and just dive straight in uh, trying to make sure I don't lose too much time to snow because by the time we get to after this lap is uh, obviously the other and so I need to make sure I keep myself in a dip with snow until we get the 30 out there. It's being stuck to 
Well, before I shut off, I stuck to, uh, before I to the soil. So uh, we on board with Liam Lawton with Octopi Ashley. And Lawton is doing quite well. You know, his defense are pretty well. I believe it's Australia, both of them. So Lawton, Australia, I think I'll fight it again to Octopi Ashley, who's Australia as well. Like Lawton, uh, Mentor P13. So they both have been doing well as Octopi Ashley. Obviously, he's driving a uh, medium tire. And you see the old Porsche, we over, obviously overtook small. And we are, you know, the old Porsche is trying to get, get the gap. Short sure is for us to pay us to get the overtake, but it obviously it, we can talk to our Dutton uh, Bar that we have a smash car. But obviously, that's that an state in the game, unfortunately. And um, so, obviously, I know in the old Porsche, he's thinking. I don't know overtake quickly, but I know he wants to overtake me. I know he wants me to hurry up. But it, obviously, it's seems really quick right now. I'm like a very, 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 very fast compared to Bill Porsche. And I'm just trying to take the slip screen. So we've got a really good pace now. We're going for the move. We died bomb in the first turn. And Bill Porsche obviously gave them a little contact. So not been bad about that. No, normal driving. No bad blood between up to. So we obviously uh, overtook the old Porsche, took myself up to P15, which is two star. Uh, it's only lap four into lap five now, and we are uh, on board with Liam Lawton, still fighting off the PS. We've been switching position, as I'm now going forward trying to get the move on Lawton, but Lawton break too early or too late. That makes me break it. Well, nearly to lie into him. We had some broken damage from wing, but it was that close. We looked at the replay right now, and you see how close it was. It's like maybe if I break at zero point one second later, there'll be damage from wing, and I'll be livid. But it is too early to get that damage, and I'm really, really annoyed. But then, don't nothing happen, and we on board with Charles Leclerc is now making the move on Lando Noddy. No, making that mistake that George Russell had in the beginning um, of the long point where he fouled out the P5 or P4, P5. So Charles obviously made to move on Tarlo and land on Noddy, and it's now made to move on Dirty or Power. And can he get the position off from Dirty or Power? But Power is doing really well defending, doing next again. Power is trying to defend, but Charles Leclerc tries to. Pulled up a bit brave and he just literally got the page and just went around him like he was nothing. So Pallet obviously fouled to P2. He's done well, so don't get me wrong, he looks like he's done really well. Obviously, he had really good really, uh, stuck okay, top uh, at, the end, at the beginning of the long point and obviously overtaken what three cars, two cars on that, on that uh, beginning. So obviously, he's done really well. We don't need to pick uh, to obviously but on hard tire. Okay, I was thinking can I go on longer? But this I uh, had that little stairs from Liam Law to where I break later early, depending on what your breaking point is. I obviously nearly went to the back of him to that tire stand the to me and saying to myself, oh took that. We now lost uh, our you know our uh, pace where we kind of locked the confidence, so I thought, okay, that's fine. Much like that hit me too much, so I'm gonna pit on hard tyre, and hopefully, when pit on hard tyre, it will help me unlock where, but it obviously, me a hard tyre can't work out. The hard tyre feels like stock tyre, but the time longer, you know what I'm saying? So that's how he felt for me. So obviously, it's a good thing, so we obviously not gonna go to the end with the hard tyre. We pretty much can do it if I were to uh, pick at the right time. It'll be right now, that's about the time I would pick lap 14, 15, but obviously, uh, lap 15, 15, but I decided to pick a lap early, so any time worked out, but it, we obviously tapped it up to the car I heard, even though it's still like 15, okay, 15 far on, away from the court, but the pace on the hard tire with me, I'm doing, doing the really good work. So I know I got the confidence to catch up. But turn to the middle, really good under tart with all the tart in front. I was P15. And obviously, kind of uh, falling away from there. 
So we are the team into that the team got top tire P right now into medium tire. Like we are doing be doing up the P8 team, do they be taking overtaking the old Porsche? We got overtake we overtook the old Porsche with up the P team, which is the now so the old Porsche got a brand new tire. He ran on medium, so he's obviously got a give me a bit of a hard time. Uh, we might even end up letting switch back the swing up to where he can take it off and the defense and get himself in point if he can. So we got lost in, in those in, and I'm going to be coming through very soon. And we got as I see the old behind us, and we obviously going overtaking. Uh, mostly though, the name lost up to P14, so that is basically uh, a p position higher. Than where I was before I picked this, which is true. Um, though I'm happy about that. I think I made a good decision on picking a lap early, as if the DLC has gone by in lap 17, which is at lap 18 now. So I was like, well, fighting the Porsche was not my sense, it's on medium tyre. Obviously, the medium tyre works in faster than hard tyre, but hard tyre, obviously, I've been using it. So therefore, I think don't okay, uh, really well on it and it warmed up. Finish, but unfortunately, I don't need that penalty. But I couldn't even see the white light, I swear to God, I couldn't even see it. So obviously, I went into uh, off the white line and obviously got that well of three second penalty. But that's not it's something that I can't really can play as a D. I'm snodgy right now. I don't know what's happening with me. I'm literally ban into those but then don't nothing come from okay, that which is really wasteful for and we obviously do we defend it on those for P14 and obviously those it's giving me a bit of a hard time to the old medium tire you obviously much more faster runner than I am as if the eyes swine swine in to block up those my team going to the last but obviously I uh try to clock do that what I was doing is on the board was shit. I was like, I'll take it to back away from that. That's just a bit of a unfair tire of a move that I was doing. So I was too tired to pull it off from that. Uh, but obviously, we maintain our uh, position for P14. If I finish P14, that is good to, as long as I finish closer to the point, I'm fine with it. Not to complain about it, really. Doing lap 25. You know, the Porsche has two top on body, and I've obviously just the run off the track. I don't know what just happened. I thought I've had to be of a trouble with my ceiling, and I should run off, and I was I must be falling asleep or something. I just run off. I was being back to uh, so obviously I gotta tap my stuff on the head that woke up, mate. You got my way to do. You need to play properly, mate. So obviously I got to um try and pack it in and throw it out for a valve box that you take the position back. And go for a uh, field Porsche and try to time. We got about half of this lap, about 10 laps, 11 laps left. So we still got a bit of a time. There's potential uh, staking the car, uh, like flash, who knows. And we on board with Oton as we just steam up the PS going off. And it looks like he got some uh, mechanical issue. So it looks like it's going to be entirely from the race right now. As you see right there. So that came out in Nello flat, but unfortunately, no state in the car. But if it was state in the car, it wouldn't work perfectly. If I would put it uh, probably for stop tire or medium tire if I had uh, stop tire fresh torque. And you're on board with your Russell. And he obviously uh, started to uh, attempt to land on Nolly. But man obviously overtook him and Joe is like I don't take the position back. He he's so he's obviously started the fight back now and he so it is looking like he's overtaking real to real action and Joe's obviously got a really good pace in Mistavis. Mistavis has been doing really well all season long. Obviously you see Charles the P1 and Joe obviously fell off the P5 and climbed back up onto the podium because Quite impressive for him, and obviously as a team, we um, in lap 30 we made good time when we paused lap 4 that turn from the tire behind, and I do believe I know the reason to it is because the hard tire it now working properly, where medium tire tire starts to fade away, and the hard tire is like it's my tire baby. So obviously the hard tire tires switch on, 
I'm Jimmy, and obviously, uh, tries to overtake Bot and tries to pull the statue from him as possible. So we're going to lap 32. So we're going to slip sleep of the Bot that we're going on the left side. I'm going to be trying to overtake him without making a contact or anything like that. Clean overtake, and you see, just good overtake in lap 13 to 34. That would be trying to overtake me. But I did the same move as I did on those, I believe, where I tried swinging, like, you're not overtaking me, stay away from that. So I was a bit of a, um, I was being cheating, I like, no, I shouldn't be cheating, but that's, you know, that's not a subject penalty for that one. Final I'm fine with it, you know, I'm doing, doing the last lap now. We obviously are doing to be Rob the P14, which is, it's fine, you know. I, stayed, I went to the top 14 since I was P22, so time work. And the Porsche obviously had P12, which is true. Be nice if you obviously finish in point. And the Tlair jumped home P1, so it won two for the mistake. I put the finish in P3. And the time to prove my point that no matter what, a joint loss of no, not the P20, it was still finish in podium potentially. And that's how fast. I mean, they did it this season, they've been apt to do uh, lots of shit, and obviously, we know which team is like that, but bold. Um, so, I think they kind of switched their turn around the table, and they it my map, my type, my ear, but I'm gonna be dominating, and obviously, no more time was in retire. So, they obviously brought in another star, which is Charles Leclerc, and he obviously, you know, he's done really well. Uh, for the mistake, which is good news for them, and we are you now getting to the last corner, and we'll be uh, going to block the P14. We are forced to the poor this section from Valdi, and you no, know, I'm not just complaining, it's fine. P14 is still a good finish for me, and okay, we're obviously um, happy about the result. Tired the point with how I uh, made a mistake and everything, but you know, it's fine, and we got love the other day, which is it's good news. Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here in Zandvoort, but they've done so in spectacular style. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they managed their tyres to absolute perfection. A tyre whisperer, in fact. And that is what set them apart. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners. So you see, uh, one, two from the with uh, Claire P1, George P2, and clearly your partner P3. So, so far this season, Pelmer have been outperforming his teammate Matt Verstappen. But this is a shocker. Really shocked her for me, um, so uh, I mean, hat off to Pala, you know, uh, performing better, I guess, and hat off to Mercedes, you know, bringing back their domination uh, car that we obviously you know they deserve, and other thing, so I'm really, you know, delighted to see it, you know, it's it, it, it's a good turnabout for them, and for us, uh, uh, we got the Porsche P12 and me P14. Should it be P13 if I did have the penalty? Maybe higher if I didn't make a mistake or something. I don't, I mean, if I didn't get the frightened stares from Lawton, would that change it? Which, which have I finished better ahead? I don't know, we don't wait to see. And draw the stubborn points behind from the club and that brought a 56 point behind from the Stadium. So, it's very close uh, for the construction championship and for both teammates mistakes and Pamela, I believe it's like 20 points behind or something. So, and Matt is like 40 points behind uh, from P1, which is, you know, it's, um, I think we do have a bit um, uh, upcoming races now, but obviously we've got about 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, about four races now. And everything can change. So I'm gonna end it here. And we'll see you at most uh, So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to the video to on, and peace out.